What's going on there YouTube? This is Jake from Vapor's Corner and today we're going to be bringing you a review of the Rig Mod version 2 by Vaping American Made Products also known as Vamp. So the Rig Mod is a 25mm 18, single 18650 hybrid mech mod. Made in the United States. This is the 360 brass. We have copper contacts. This is a hybrid top cap. As you can see, it's on my atomizer right now. Hybrid top cap. Flush firing button. As you can see, nice and flush. So you set it down. It's not going to fire. Uh, four pound spring inside the button. And positive battery venting. Alright, so let's talk about the price. And then we're going to dive down close for a quick up close. $130 for the version 2 stainless steel, $140 for the 360 brass version 2, and $150 for the ox oxidized oxygen free copper. So $150, this is the $140 one. So let's dive down close and take a quick up close look at the rig mod version 2. So we're going to spend a little bit of up close and personal time with the Rig Mod version 2 by Vaping American Made Products. This is the packaging. Vaping American Made Products version 2. Magnetic door. Open it up. You get their website. Hashtag Rig Mod and their logo. And sitting in there is your Rig Mod. This is the brass version. Open her up. Pretty nice packaging. It actually comes with... Uh, this hybrid hybrid key for the hybrid top cap. I'll show you back in a minute when I'm done going over the mod itself. But yeah, as you can see, you got a nice hybrid top cap. Your oil rig laser engraved. Pretty deep laser engraving too. Nice engraving. And on the back it says version 2 and your serial number, which mine is 1464. On the bottom, you have your flush firing button with their American Made logo. Nice hefty four pound spring in there. And yeah, overall, it's a really nice looking thick mod, 25 millimeters in diameter. And I'm going to show you this key real quick. This is the key it comes with, and it's for this hybrid top cap. So, as you can see, those two prongs are going to fit in these two holes. Like so, and you're just going to spin your mod, and the hybrid top cap comes off. So yeah, it's pretty cool that they gave you this tool in case your hybrid top cap gets stuck in the mod or uh, on your atomizer. Pretty nice tool they give you. But yeah, just a basic hybrid top cap, but it's nice that they gave you those two little prong holes on the side so you can get it off really easy. And as you can see really thick brass this is the brass so really thick brass tube I'm actually not gonna take this apart because I don't have the rig tool to get down in there it's basically a longer one of the uh, hybrid tool it goes down in there and you unscrew it as you can maybe see next to the button there's two little prongs just like on the hybrid top cap so you're gonna stick a tool down in there unscrew it your button's going to come out. There's a spring, your button, and a contact that just need to be turned in. Pretty nice, pretty simple. You know, nice engravings. Nice thick tube. Feels really nice in the hands. I'm actually going to drop in a battery real quick and try to locate my RDA. Today I'm going to be using these Cloud Chasers Incorporated Akron Archon RDA. Screw it onto my hybrid top cap first, and then down into the mod. And as you can see, this is unscrewed in. But when you screw it in, it's actually going to sit down in the mod a little bit. It's going to sit down in there a little bit. I don't know. I really like the look of the mod itself. Get my... Yeah, I mean, it, it, there's your 25mm to a 22mm atomizer, that's what it's going to look like. I 
don't know if this works with bigger atomizers. But yeah, it looks pretty nice with this on here. Overall build scale, I'm going to give it about a 10. It's just flawlessly built. feels really sturdy. not going to break. See how thick that brass is. Really nice. Build quality, I'm going to give it about a 10. When I bought it, uh, no machine oil. No nothing to clean up. Just ready to use. Screw on an atomizer. Drop in a battery and you're vaping. Pretty nice. Get a nice fresh drip. Gonna be dripping on uh, Jimmy the Juice Man's caramel pear today. Yeah, it hits really nice. Fires up super quick with that really short throw on the button. As you can see, it's like almost not even able to be seen. Really short throw on that button. But yeah, that's been the quick up close with the rig mod version 2. Let's buy it back up top. Give you my opinions, pros and cons, and if I lost it today, would I buy another one? So we're back up top with the rig mod version 2 by Vaping American Made Products. <clears throat> Build quality, as I said, I'm going to give it about a 10. It's just flawlessly built. Really nice, sturdy mech mod. Really low voltage drop is what I noticed, too. Hits super hard. And, I mean, for 140 bucks, 150 bucks at most, you're getting a really nice mod. You're getting a high-end mechanical mod. It's not out of my budget, but for people that are on their vape budget, you might need to save up a little bit. I'm saying it's not out of my budget just because the fact that I know I can spend this much money on it and be okay. I mean, I only work at Jimmy John's, but come on. If I can afford it, you guys can afford it, and it's a really nice mod. I definitely recommend the Rig Mod version 2 for anyone who loves their mechanical mods is looking for a really nice high-end mech mod the rig mod version 2 is a must-have let's take another couple hits and i'll give you my pros and cons and we'll wrap up the video So we're going to go over the pros and cons here. And if I lost it today, would I buy another one? <clears throat> so we'll go over the cons first. <coughs> one of the cons would have to... No, actually, probably the only con I have for this device is that you need to buy a separate tool to get in there and take apart your battery housing, which I actually do not have. It does not come with the mod. You have to buy it online separate at uh, vamp.com or vapingamericanmadeproducts.com. Buy a separate tool that just goes down in there and takes apart the battery or the button housing. Let's go over the pros real quick. The pros, I would have to do this hybrid top cap as a pro. Make sure you're using a protruding 510 pin though. Always be safe out there. Uh, another pro would be the the button. The button's just great. Cooks right up. You don't have to think about where you're pressing the button. Anywhere you press, it's just gonna fire. Another pro. I mean, just the aesthetic look of it. It just looks really nice. As you can see, mine's a little bit tarnished. I've been using it for a couple of days without polishing it, and it just still looks really nice. Um, nice deep engravings on it. You know, just looks really nice and it feels really nice in a hand. That 25 millimeter doesn't feel like thin and cheap. It just feels really nice, real heavy, really sturdy in the hand. Really nice uh, mech mod right here. So those are just a couple pros and cons. In my opinion, it's a great mech mod. It's very, you get what you pay for and it's, it's good. 
Uh, if I lost it today, I would definitely go out and buy another one. And I actually might be buying another one. I might be buying a copper one very soon. So if I buy that copper one, I'll just do a little channel update and let you know. But uh, yeah, this is the Rig Mod version 2. I highly recommend it. Very good uh, mech mod. But this has been Jake from Vapor's Corner. Like, comment, subscribe. Check us out on Facebook at Vapor's Corner. And just remember, YouTube, keep on vaping.